What's going on guys? It's Greg from East Coast Eyes and welcome to 2017. This is our first head review we promised. Even after we released the Mirage, we get back to head reviews and this is the first of a great lineup. This is the new Warrior Regulator Max. So this is obviously a new defensive head coming after the Warrior Regulator. Basic things you need to know, it costs $89.99, which was really surprising. This thing kind of released right around the same time as the Evo 5. Has kind of similar styling and technology to the Evo 5 and yet the Evo 5 launched at well over $100, even though this one has more plastic. So that was something I couldn't really understand. Even so, $89 is right around where most other defensive heads are. Um, as for weight, uh, that's where really, this thing is gonna be different, and we'll get into that a little bit later, but this is well over six ounces. It's closer to six and a quarter ounces. ounces. Its predecessor, the Regulator, was just about six ounces, and then that was the heaviest head we'd ever weighed. Uh, that would move the Regulator Max into the new heavyweight title spot as what I believe to be the heaviest head in modern lacrosse, uh, which can be good or bad depending on how you look at it. So it's a defensive specific head. I wouldn't recommend it for anything other than that. I wouldn't even recommend it for uh, a lot of LSMs or a lot of d -middies. but basically it came after the Regulator. And when you look at these two heads, the Regulator X and the Regulator Max X, uh, there's not a lot of difference in them. It has some updated styling, but the sidewall looks almost exactly the same. The face shape is almost identical. The scoop shape is almost identical, if not identical. Uh, they both have the lock throat technology. The big difference here is what they're calling their Max technology. I did some research. I couldn't find anything about what exactly it was, except for ultra thick sidewall struts and rails. So basically they took the same struts and rails and they beefed them up significantly and that's where you get to your six and one quarter ounce weight. Uh, and so basically this is easily and far and away the stiffest head uh, we've ever had in the office. And you know, kind of their campaign behind it was dealing punishment, kind of wanting to hurt the guy you're defending. And I think that's what everyone that's picked it up has said about it. So if you're the kind of defenseman that literally wants to inflict pain on your attackman, this is the head you're gonna go with. It's extremely stiff. It's not gonna budge at all on poke checks or slap checks. I can see it being extremely durable in the long run. Uh, and so if, if you wanna lay really hard checks, I wouldn't really look any further than the Regulator Max. This is gonna be the move for you. One thing that wasn't my favorite about this head is it seems like uh, they kind of only designed it for that purpose. The face shape is ultra wide probably the widest face shape in lacrosse, and that made it difficult to string a solid pocket, and it's also just not gonna be that great for ball control. It'd be great for catching, uh, but not great for ball control, which is why I'm kind of steering LSMs and d middies away from this head and more towards something like uh, the Hammer 500 that has a little bit of tighter pinch. This literally has no pinch. It's going out the entire way up the head, and it's ultra wide. So great for catching, really great for laying checks, but if you're a guy that likes to bring the ball up the field a ton, uh, the Max is probably not gonna be for you, and I would look for probably a different option. When it comes to stringing, um, unfortunately this has the same tilt tech sidewalls that the Evo 5 had, which I mentioned in that review. They are slanted holes in the head, uh, and I feel like they put them the exact wrong direction from the way that I would have put them. So it is not my favorite feature. You can still string it just fine with the tilt tech, even though I think it's going the wrong way. Um, I just, I don't think it helps at all. Uh, we strung this one up with Vortex though and got a really solid pocket by using a stacked SI. Uh, we used the Vortex to kind of counteract the width of the head and give you more hold in the middle. And overall, we got a great mid pocket. The rail's kind of designed for a mid to mid high. Um, and the pocket turned out nice despite the face shape. So a lot of sidewall holes, you can get a solid pocket. But overall, uh, this is a cool head. It is definitely meant for really one purpose and that is beating people up. And so if that's what you want to do, you really, this is the option for you. So make sure to let me know what you guys think of the Warrior Regulator Max down in the comments. Make sure to like it if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.